the boom has a uniform weight of 600 pounds and is hoisted into position using the cable PC. If the cable has a diameter of 0.5 inch, plot the average normal stress in the cable as a function of the boom position theta for theta greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so here's a figure for it. And I have a free body diagram for it being drawn here. So you have this boom, and here's the angle, and here's the for the cable, the force of the cable, which is BC, FBC. Okay. So uh, let me do this first. So again, you are asked to find the normal stress in member BC. Look at my finger here. So normal stress in BC. Okay, so the normal stress in the cable eventually. So you need to find the force in the cable. And let's see how you going to do that. Well, you can break this down into X and Y components. And then let's see. Uh, you can use the moment to find F, B, C, Y. Okay, and that can, and then you can find F, B, C by using the ratio or the angle. So that's two things you need to do here. Find the force. In order to find the force, you need to find the x or the y, the x or the y components of that force, and then find the angle between them. Okay, this angle or this angle. All right. So that is the strategy. Okay, so I'm going to find the angle for this one first, and then you will know why later. Okay, so I'll, I'll walk you through it. So just follow me. First, I'm going to find this angle. So um, I have. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, look at this one. So here's the figure, and you have this angle theta, this alpha, this beta, and this. This beta and this beta is the same because you have this one as three feet and this one as three feet. So they this angle, this angle has to be the same. Okay, so right here you don't know this angle. But let's see, can we find that angle? Mm, let's see, oh yeah, you don't know this angle. In we are going to find the normal stress in BC in terms of the angle, okay? So keep this angle, and then because since this is the right angle, so alpha is equal to 90 minus theta, okay? Beta, beta, so you have two betas, and beta plus beta plus alpha equals 180 because this forms a triangle, okay? So you have two beta equals 180 minus alpha, and Alpha is equal to 90 minus theta. Okay, so I have 2 beta equals 180 minus 90 minus theta. Simplify this out, I get beta equals 90 plus theta divided by 2. Okay, just follow me. Okay, here's it's a little bit uh, confusing because you have a lot of variables here. All right, so I know beta, and back to here, so this angle is beta, and again. This angle is the right angle, so beta plus gamma is equal to 90, so gamma is equal to 90, the right, the subtract beta, and beta is equal to 90 plus theta divided by 2, so I got gamma equals 45 divided by theta over 2, okay, got it, alright, now, the force uh, FBCY is equal to FBC times cosine of gamma, which is 45 is minus theta over 2. All right, keep in mind this. Now, uh, let me use the moment. So I'm going to take the moment at A because it elim eliminates A, Y, and A, X, OK? So take about take the moment about this one. I have, so this boom is 3 feet long. So I have, oh, let's do this first, the, uh, the force of the, the boom. So you have a 600 pounds a load at, e at the center of the boom 
so you have uh, since uh, the the length of the boom is three feet uh, half of the boom is 1.5 feet which is 18 inches by multiplied by 12 you know, everyone knows that okay so the moment about this one is equal to 600 of course you have to direct this force into the x and y component okay so this is y x all right and this is a right trying a right angle as as you know all right so the moment about a is equal to 600 600 pounds times this four is equal to so you have angle theta here times cosine of theta okay so I have 600 times cosine of theta and what is the distance the distance from here to here is 1.5 feet times 12 which is 18 inches all right and then you have I assume uh, clockwise is positive so I have positive moment for this one now for the force FBCY is counted clockwise so I have negative force the force is this one which uh, what I just found earlier and I told you keep in mind that so I have this force time the distance the distance from here to here is 3 feet time 12 which is 36 inches okay all right and set this expression equals zero because we are in equilibrium all right I saw then saw for FBC I got 300 times cosine theta divided by cosine of 45 minus theta over 2 and the unit is pounds all right all right we're almost done okay the, then the normal stress in cable BC is equal to the force divided by the area the force is this one the area is pi over 4 times 0 for 5 in squared okay so uh, multiply this out and simplify with this you have 1528 cosine theta divided by cosine 45 minus theta over 2 in the units for it is psi so that is the normal stress in cable PC in terms of theta that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything I'll see you next time Thank you.